John Gosling, another death that happened this week. Former keyboard player for the Kinks passed away, and he was 75. The Kinks put out a statement this past Friday, which read, We are deeply saddened by the news of the passing of John Gosling. We are sending our condolences to John's wife and family. Now, the Kinks came to be all the way back in 1963 in London by brothers Ray and Dave Davies. Their home was filled with music and the Ray Davies Quartet, which they formed in grammar school, once had Rod Stewart as their lead singer because he was also a student at the brothers' school. Rod was let go, though, which this was so funny, after only a couple of shows because drummer John Start's mother, he was in with the guys pre-Kinks, by the way. Well, she did not like Rod's voice because it was gravelly and awful. Like, just say what you feel, mom. And they were practicing in her garage. So if she said he had to go, mom was the boss. Rod, you got to go. Mom doesn't like you. Mad. Like, what did she say after that? When he started to gain his fame. Oh, I like Rod now. Like, do you think she went backstage to any of his shows? Maybe. I don't know. So by the time John Gosling joined the band, who were now known as the Kinks and consisted of Ray and Dave, Mick Avery on drums, and John Dalton on bass, they had already released seven albums, right? And one of their biggest hits was You Really Got Me. When John joined the band in May of 1970, his debut happened on Lola. Great song to come into the band with. Unbelievable. This is definitely their signature song and caused quite a stir as Ray Davies wrote the single about a man who became intertwined with a trans woman. Very ahead of its time, don't you think? The BBC banned the song not because of its sexual implications, but because it referenced Coca-Cola, surprisingly. And product placement was a big no-no. I did not know that. My gosh, today it's really the total opposite because there is product placement in absolutely everything we see. I'm just talking about Market Basket and Paper Towel. Not sponsored, by the way. (laughs) John was with the Kinks until 1978 and left after the release of the band's 17th album, The Misfits. This was the same year that Van Halen covered the Kinks You Really Got Me for their self-titled debut album. John helped form the Cast Off Kinks in 1994, which featured original Lola band members, John, drummer Mick Avery, and bassist John Dalton. John retired in 2008, and Mick Avery said about John's passing, Today we lost a dear friend and colleague. He was a great musician and had a fantastic sense of humor, which made him a popular member of the band, and he leaves us with some happy memories. What is your favorite kink song? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> 